Greetings, fellow outsiders. Welcome back to Harold Halibut. I love this opening screen music. It makes me feel like I'm in like a cool lounge drinking some coffee or something. <laughs> it's very chill. Let's get back into the game. Figure out what's going on with the All Water Corporation. If we can. All right, we're right where we left off. Um, I really like Harold. Are you going to have any more information for me? I kind of ignored you at the end of the last episode. Or are you Welcome. just still exposition? I am All Water Automated Secretary Number One. How may I assist your All Water related learning? Uh, I already went through all of this, I think. Bye. Bye. The All Water Corporation wishes you a pleasant day. Thank you. I'm sure it does. Okay. Um, so the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to check this guy and see if I could talk to him. Also, because we're stopped here, I'm not able to move. So let's talk to him first. Because I feel like the fact that they stopped me means that there's probably something important going on here. Plus, we got the information from Earth last episode. Literally. Also, I was wrong. For some reason, I kept thinking the 18,000 was like 18,000 years. It was 18,000 days when I went back to edit the first episode, which I looked up. That's only like 50 years. And that's the crash. So that's not necessarily when they left. Um, but like it was, it's been 50 years since they crashed on this planet. So it's really not been like that long in the grand scheme of things, which is why some people on the ship remember the crash. What does this button do? Oh no, that's the elevator. No, 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 I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down. I completely forgot. I'm sorry, Harold. I was telling people about the timeline of your story here. Um, okay. Hello. Fedora One Captain. Tell me what you can. <clears throat> Captain at Large Baronhout? Ah, uh, hello. Uh, how are you, uh, um... I'm Harold Halibut, sir. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Harold, tell me, have you ever felt lost? Oh, yes. I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold, I mean, feeling like you have no purpose. I know my purpose. But sometimes it doesn't seem very important. You heard the leak, uh, I presume? Yeah, of course. That leak, that one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large, <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh. What do you I mean? See. Well, maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would, but we're still us. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is this someone from Earth? It can't Toto be. Toto has taken an unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's oh, I thought that Bro, I thought she died. No, Come on. I'm sure she'll return eventually. But every moment without her, I spend in longing and despair. Oh, this guy's is so dramatic. Is <laughs> it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Oh, the bird! We Coco saw the bird when we bird. were up here before. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Okay. Could you so they do have birds on the ship. Me? I was wondering about that. I'd look for her myself. But in these uncertain times, I think it's best I don't leave my post. Okay. Um, are you sure you want it to be me looking for her or so about Coco? Let me go so about Coco and then we'll go so with the other one if it's Coco. still an option. Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she maybe have any favorite hiding places? That's hmm. true. Not that I know of. What about food? Anything I can like catch her with? Closet, trying to hatch a sea sponge inside my hat. I promised to keep an eye out for her. Oh, Harry. Room closet. Do we know any closets? Okay. I'm not sure she has another friend in the world. Aww. Um, and then are you sure it should be are me? Are you sure you want it to be me looking for her? Whatever are you implying? I'm sure you're perfectly capable, um, and I'm thoroughly and otherwise engaged. Bye. All right, bye. See ya, Fedora One Captain. All right, so we have Finding Coco. I'm going to assume, oh, I drew the <laughs> Coco at the first captain. I'm going to assume that that is an optional task, yes. And then return to the lab, energy depleted destination or charging station, aka bed. Um, I don't want to go to sleep yet, though. So I'm assuming we can 
uh, hopefully, I meant to run, not do that. Hopefully, complete our task without doing anything. Also, I really want to know what's behind that door. It's probably just his quarters, though. Right? Like his bedroom or something. Most likely. Because it seems to be that the people uh, live where they work. At least Harold does. Although Moreau's room doesn't seem to be there. At least we haven't gotten to it. All right, you ready, Harold? Let's go find Coco. Coco the bird. Yeah, because when we were playing the video game, I saw birds and I... But that was when I thought that there was many more years in between when uh, they were here and left. But um, I suppose that's why... Um, What's-her-face probably remembers butterflies, too, as well. Moreau. Okay. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All you Water Corporation. The tube. Oh, it's so dark. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. There's also this VIP section. I really want to go everywhere. This guy is missing, and then we have the map here. Which I've never been able to really look at, but it would be nice to actually at some point. Then there's... This little candle area. Which makes me think it's like nighttime sort of thing. Destination determined. Now Do we see the bird anywhere? Do we see Coco? I don't think I do. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled though. You're in here. any place I can interact with. Thank you. Oh, I just have to go to bed. I hope I can do the Coco thing later. Unless Coco's like on this floor. Oh wait, do you think she's on the other floor? Oh, I don't wanna lose the thing. And Coco lost his bird friend. I should keep an eye out for her. Well, mm, okay. So here's the thing. I just got started. So we'll see if the task is still there when we start the next day. Um, everything else seems closed, kind of, though. There's no one here. Except the movie, which I'm not going to start watching. Let me do just a quick scan of everything. I like to do it just in case we see um, someone. Maybe Clyde. Not Clyde, Cyrus. <laughs> There's so many C names. Oh, you know what? This might be Moreau's room. This is a room I haven't been able to get into. If it's not Moreau's room, then it's probably someone else. Um, and we still can't get into the observatory, which I would love to, because observatory, you know, I just love observing things. <laughs> I really do. I think it would be really pretty. Any new environment in this place I would be excited to see, to be honest. Harold, are you ready to go to bed? We're probably gonna have to talk to Moreau once, though, about like our new task. Completed retreat to the lab. Yes, let's do it. Hey, Professor. Oh, are those the new teacups? Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. What is it? Music is making me suspicious. <gasps> is it a. What is it? A letter from Earth? When you are lost in the dark, you have to go deeper to find your way out. The Light Keepers? Ooh. Most intriguing. Highly irregular. So, <laughs> if the Light Keepers could get the rock and they knew we wanted it, that means that uh, they must be someone who. Harold, it's late. <laughs> You'll get there, Harold. <laughs> for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. So it seems for now. <laughs> Good night, Harold. See you in the morning. Okay. I'm around. Night, Professor. Notebook, the package. Can I talk to her again? Fascinating. The Light Keepers. Is that the first time we've gotten a name to the... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but we do... Do we have a new to-do? Time to sleep. Um... Oh, Moreau went up! <gasps> That's what that thing on the floor was! Oh, interesting. Can I go up? Moreau, could you please? I want to see your room. Um, but I guess that answers my question. Also, there's the two of them looking. I like his little drawings. They're very charming. Is the Light Keepers the first time we've heard the name of the organization that seems to be, like, rebelling here against All Water, at least? Let's take a look here. Don't see anything new. All looks the same. There's a pineapple there. Is that like a real pineapple? Do I need to feed the fish? Probably not. All right, let's just go to bed. Let's go to bed, Harold. Um, there's a drawing above his bed as well. Completed. Time to sleep. 
Hopefully I can find Coco tomorrow. What do you think, Harold? I think we can do it. Gosh, whoever made that leak must be feeling pretty terrible right now. Unless it was the light keepers I'm glad it wasn't on purpose. Me up for once. Let's Aww. see what tomorrow brings. I want Harold to be a hero. I want him to feel good about himself. <clears throat> Let's see what tomorrow brings. Day 18,251, 252, after the crash. I like how ominous that feels. Okay. Good morning, Harold. How are you feeling today? Shall we journal anything? There's also some pictures here. <clears throat> Let's go. Good morning. And what time do you call this? Uh, good morning, Professor. The time is... I know what the time is. There's lots to be done. <laughs> Sorry! How are we find out who the light keepers are? I'm just as curious as you, Harold, but we have better things to do. I suppose you're right. How can I help? You can start by taking the rope to Bridget. Okay. She'll make the necessary preparations for analysis, which you should be able to handle. Okay, great. I'll get right on it. And Harold, try to remember that whoever the light keepers are, our jobs here are to make life more stable for the people here, not less. I know. I know. I'll get going. Okay. Task rock delivery. I really want to check and see if my optional task is still there. Yes, Coco is still there. All right, Mara asked me to rock, uh, to rock on down to Bridget at Energy Harvest. Rock on down? Is that like a pun? Because he's carrying a rock. I'd better get rolling. Rock and rolling. <laughs> Harold has a fun sense of humor. I keep clicking the wrong button. I'm sorry. I keep trying to run, and that happens. All right, I'm gonna keep checking the records just because I feel like something is ought to show up at some point here. Um, that still says Tonkular Petrix, which I should look up and see if that's like a real scientific term. It doesn't look familiar to me at this point. Can I go up to your room, Moro, at some point, please? There's a cute little dinosaur. Okay, let's go. Bring the rock to uh, Pet. Was it Petra? There's a lot of names. Bridget, Bridget, Bridget is the name. And then there's Cyrus and Chris and Harold, of course. Um, is there something here? Let's take a look at it. It looks like it's the same thing as before though. Uh, this is what we saw. I heard a noise. I just wanna see one thing, like a scene. Okay, <laughs> feels very uncanny valley. That's enough of that. I'm assuming it's just like a rom-com sort of thing. All right, there's no one here, which means it's time to go find Bridget and Coco if we can and just explore a little bit. I like going to the one area um, the Agora Arcades. Actually, should we go to the central station first? Should we just go top to bottom? Location Let's go top to bottom. Dominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. <laughs> I like that they have a, um, Thank variety of things there. Water. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. As always, hey, how's it going? Can I talk to you today? I can. Number eight. Hello. How can I be of assistance? I don't know yet. I guess you can't. <laughs> I was just saying hello. And then I can't talk to this guy. So we can go to the utility district, which is probably where Bridget is. But I'm gonna go to the arcades first. I just wanted to check this area out. Oh, look at the fish in the back. All water, moving people every day. And at the very least, we get to see more of the dialogue that all water has for us in the elevators. I feel like it'd be fun to do something like that. Traveling with all water. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, it's this police guy who's kind of mean, but also very fashionable. Major? Harold, if you're going to ask me about that leak... Um, 
Maybe I was. Then I would say don't ask. <laughs> the appropriate protocols and due diligence was clearly not carried out by the guilty leaker in question. But now that we have all heard it, should we do anything? Absolutely not. The authorities will handle it. And if it wasn't meant for our ears, then we shouldn't pry. Okay, Major. Bye for now. Bye, Major. Um, but the CEO decided to air it anyways, though. So, like, we've heard the entirety of the message, right? You think I can do the raffle again? Probably not. Mr. I'll still 17? say hi. Mr. Halibut? Uh, anyone been lucky enough to win the raffle? Anyone been lucky with the raffle recently? Not recently. It's a real Not ever, someone actually. The excitement as they go away to look through the access forum to correlate their winning tickets to the reward is palpable. <laughs> uh, what are some of the prizes? What are some of the other prizes then? Oh, okay. You've twisted my arm. <laughs> One of my favorite prizes is a signed photo of Madam CEO. Wow. She's striking a car pose. It's quite striking. Amazing. Um, is there any other prize? Wait, can I ask what are you again? Some of the other prizes then? Well, if you're really lucky, you might win a month's supply Ooh, of two. Tickets. That's better than the signed photo, Three let's be trouble, honest. Much as you want. What freedom. Wow. Okay, one more time. What are some of the other prizes? Third time's then? the charm. It's always possible to win one of the best prizes of them all. An audience with the all water announcer. Oh. Wine, nibbles and the chance to hear your name or indeed any phrase you desire announced in his own inimitable style. Oh, so the, just the guy who says phrases in the elevator? All right, one more time. One what more time since he's giving us information. On offer. I suppose I can let you in on a smattering of them. One delightful winning entitles you to a guided tour of the all-water tube system. I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to win the raffle then. And statistics about the traffic through it. Amazing. I'll be going. Thanks, Mr. <laughs> Harold's like, that's enough. Pleasure. I don't need to know anymore. I don't need to know about the statistics of all waters uh, tube system. Okay, this is so cool. Oh my god, can you imagine like hanging out in a place like this? Let's go eavesdrop on these guys again. Right, it's their fa Not favorite place long. to be. You don't mind me. Leak. Yes, I did, Zim. Load of old nonsense, wasn't it? Mm, Load whatever you of say. old nonsense, Alon. Let's said, I feel bad for the bloke that leaked it. Yeah, I'm gonna cop an earful. Did they even an know who leaked it? Shall I doubt it. You know what I'd say if I was Madam CEO? What would you say, Zim? If I was the CEO, I'd say to him, Oi, you're leakier than a cheap bucket and I'm not having it. <laughs> Check yourself and your Tanai communication protocol before you wreck yourself. And it's I an guess that is why you are not CEO, one, Zim. Zim. <laughs> Maybe you should be the next CEO. Nah, too much responsibility, Alon. You know what I'd say <laughs> if I was CEO? What would you say then, Alon? I'd say, Oi, you! You're leakier than an old pipe full of hungry mice, and I'm not having it. Guys, this is like the together, cringiest conversation I've ever overheard. Mistakes, but it's how you learn from them that counts. And right you'd be, Alon. Right you'd be. And Maybe right you'd be. be. CEO. Nah, too much responsibility. <laughs> These guys are just right patting each other on the in. back. All right, bye guys. Have a lovely, lovely drink. Chatting together. Let's see Slippy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You okay? Ah, oh, Harold, you're back. I knew my new marketing strategy would work. What? Oh, talking to I the was customers? More curious what you thought of the leak? It's okay. You don't need an excuse to come back to the store. <laughs> you know your neck looks cold. It no, does? it's not. It's fine. I mean, don't. What do you think the leak will no. mean for us? This scarf will keep you cozy and stylish. What do you say? I mean, I'd say I want to talk about the leak. Nice and all, but I don't really need one. Look, I'll put it on your tab as usual. Wear no, it about. no, if you really no. Don't like it, then you can bring it back. I no, need that okay. money for other Thanks. things, Come like back rocks. Soon, Harold. Did I seriously just get, bro? <laughs> I don't want this scarf. Can I do this again? The skiing is so ridiculous to me. Um. All right. Bye. See ya. Whatever. Well, I got a new little slippy scarf. I wish it didn't say slippies on it, but it's still kind of cute. <laughs> I really want to open the potions magic store. When is this going to be open? Like, seriously. Oh, I can go in here. I've never been in here before. Hey, guys. Uh, Harold. 
You heard about the leak too, right? Yes. Yeah. Quite I took a leak I before this. I bet the guy <laughs> did it on purpose. Ah, oh, stop with your conspiracy theories. It's not a conspiracy. It's a very I'm valid just one. Maybe he was trying to do the right thing. Oh, I hadn't thought about that possibility. More likely, he'd had a few. Not everything is caused or solved by beer, you know, Tommy. <laughs> yeah, but some things are. You should try it for once. Okay, I'll uh, speak to you both later. <laughs> I like that this guy is just continuously never wearing pants and always in a bathroom. Um, Chris is one of my favorite characters. I like him. Like, in terms of his design and everything else. Alright, goodbye, Tommy. See you later. Nobody's giving us really any new information about the leak, though. Should we go into Intercom Oasis? Please, insert coin to open. Hi! How's it going? Hey, Rafi. <sighs> what are you up to today? Lots. Very busy. I feel Too busy to chit chat. <laughs> I feel like this is the same conversation all the time. Rafi, why don't you like me? Rafi, I feel like I feel like we're not friends. Also, I never played this game. Let's play it for once. Rapid Fly Zone Fours. Oh wait, this is the same thing. Uh, okay, I just have like a minute. I think it's gonna be the same thing as before though. We'll do it for the heck of it. Yeah, I was here before. Okay, I died. I died in the same spot. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. Come on, Harold, I believe in you. We have no time to waste. We have to figure out who did the leak and talk to the artist over here and also the mailman, who's kind of a funny character. Hey, how's life treating you? Just great. Thanks, is his name Harold. Buddy or Just is Buddy his swell. nickname? Say, did you hear the leak? I sure did. What do you think will happen to the poor guy? Well, his face is going to be pretty red for a while, but I'm sure he'll bounce Hopefully from right embarrassment. Up. Yeah. He's I not implying so. like injury, right? What do you think the message will be? We'll soon see, I wager. I think it'll be fascinating either way. Did we not I hear the message last episode? Sawyer too much. He can be sensitive about these kinds of things. Oh, true. She's in a pretty tough situation. He sure is. Maybe I should get him to come on the next station jog with me. You know, get his legs active and his mind nice and calm. That could sure. be nice. Hmm. Speaking of which, about time you joined me on my <laughs> He's panicking. Eh? Harold's like, no, no I can't but, go running oh, again. Sorry, buddy. I just realized I said I'd be somewhere. Talk to you soon. See ya, Harold. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's talk to the artist. Do you have anything planned today? No, I can't talk to him. Can I actually go up on the stage? Oh my god, Harold. Harold, you're a star. Sing for me, Harold. Wait for me. I'm coming. Now he really is Orpheus. Um, hey, the sign is up. The neon sign is up. T and B is up there. Okay. Um, let's go check in with the one guy up here who may or may not be the fourth quadruplet. I actually don't think he is, though. I feel like the when we see the quadruplet, he's going to look very similar to the other three brothers that we have seen around here. But I could be wrong. Hello. And that guy is still sitting there just staring. Oh, hey, Nigel. Yeah. Oh, I can only just say hi? Right, I guess some people don't have uh, anything interesting to say. I haven't seen the bird at all either. Except he did say that it would be in a, um, like, closeted area. Or that was, like, our hint, I guess. I can't talk to any of you. Excuse me, miss. I have places to be. Did they put little hats on the... On the lampposts here, I just realized. Or is that just styling? All right, well, we got to talk to some people. Stavin found Coco, and I have things to do. So I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful time. Also, the raffle might be, except the raffle, I seem to remember I couldn't do very often in Energy District. Oh, oh wait, we do have to go to the Energy District. What was the other elevator though, then, in the central area? Where did that take us? I have to remember oh, these things. We get you where you're going. All right, we have to halt for disinfectant. Contaminant detected. What? Please do not panic. I'm panicking. Commences in three. Three. Wait for it. Zero. 
What? You Please detected a contaminant. For your contaminant inspection. Am I good? Inspecting. Contaminant detected. All right, whatever, bye. <laughs> I panicked and I'm leaving. So there's a contaminant on Harold. Is that going to be important? Can I actually go in here today? Yay! Oh, cool. And I'm contaminated. Let me touch all of this, the rocks here. Um, all right, let's talk. Let's talk to Bridget. How's it going? I have to give you a rock, Bridget. <clears throat> Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to rock, Harold? <laughs> that was hilarious. Killjoy sometimes. Anyway, it's going to take a while to analyze this little guy, so I'll send for you when it's ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bridget. Thanks, Bridget. Oh, Harold, while you're here, maybe you could help me with a little something? Uh, maybe, but don't you think... Now, now, you'll do quite well. There's a little experiment I've been wanting to run. The, With the remote rock? control of the conveyors isn't working right now. My theory is Cyrus and his mugs of tea that he always forgets about before knocking over. So I need your help to manually control them. Can do. I'll okay. I'll be here recording and analyzing the is data. Is this going to be a puzzle? Right. See that button over there? The big one next to the conveyors starts and stops them. I think I can handle that. Yes, well, <laughs> don't get cocky. I'll give you more detailed instructions over the loudspeakers as we go along. All right. Completed rock delivery. So we still have finding Coco, and then I guess we just have to help her. All right, let's do it, Harold. Beep boop. Okay, so there are three different types of organisms on the conveyor. Got it. Each is a different color. Are they pretty? They really are pretty. See, don't I make life easy for you? No. But I want you to focus on the red ones for now, since we're comparing their data to past readings. Red ones. Red ones. I got it. I'd be worried if you didn't. Anyway, pop them under the green machine next to you and stop the conveyor, please. Okay. Nice one. Now, on to the next step. Now, you next? see the analysis machine? Go start it up. The machine's UI is pretty easy. There are just two buttons. One to chop the sample, and one to coat it in our lovely space bacteria mix. Chop okay. and coat. I see. Right. I'll be prepping the actual data recording in the meantime. I'll let you know exactly when to start the process. Wait for my command. Just like comedy, timing is everything here. Okay. Uh, okay. Now. Beep boop. Oh, I chopped it. Great. <laughs> Time to coat the sample. Okay, we'll do the fart button now. Nice. Let's okay. see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, you gonna we tell need me two what it means? more readings to have a representative data set. I wonder if this is going to be important for later. More so than, like, the, the mechanics are going to come back. Maybe not, though. Also, it doesn't matter that I was contaminated. <laughs> I tried to stay under the thing. Oh, do I start it again? All right, we do the red. Okay, great. On to the next step. I can do it. Yay. What is that other conveyor bit supposed to have? Hey, All right, Speedy top. McRushmore, can you wait for my signal, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Repeat the first steps and let's try again. Oh, come on. I'm not good with waiting. I was rushing. Bridget, please. Fine. All right, we're not supposed to do the blue or the green. We're supposed to do red. I see a red one down the line. But we'll do this one. Nice one. Now on to the next step. All right, Bridget, I won't mess this time up. You can believe in me. I promise. I can't make Harold a failure. I have to make him amazing. Now. I did it. Are you proud? Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Mm, Just the one you're left saying now. words. But not telling me anything more. Anything actually useful. All right, one more time. Um, what is the yellow button up at top, too? All right, last red sample. Okay, great. On to the next step. Are these the same rocks? Some of them look different. Like, composed differently. Now. Now! Beat you to it, Bridget. I did Great. It. Time to coat the sample. Okay. Okay, great. 
Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Nice one, Harold. That one was That's intriguing. That's everything we need. Okay. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. Oh, thank God. Is she actually going to tell us something? It has to be related to the energy crisis or whatever that she's was going on about the last um, episodes. Hi there. These results... It looks like our catalytic bacteria is starting to have diminishing returns on the energy output. That's okay. not good, right? No, but it also doesn't make much sense. Why would the bacteria have been fine until now? I'm not the best person to ask. I don't know. What Evolution? What could have changed? I'm not sure. I've run the tests. The key variables, pH level, density, etc., are all stable on the bacteria. We're using the same organic matter for it to convert. And I've been double checking the filters. They're filtering at the same levels as always. Is it I the mean, organization, the firelight the or whatever it's called? Blame? It is possible that somehow the organic matter is being affected before it hits the filters. Yeah. But none of the tests we've run on the matter itself shows any key variants. Hmm, strange. Are the energy returns diminishing very badly? I'm not panicking yet, Harold. It's just a trend we can't let continue indefinitely. Unless we can miraculously find a whole new system for producing energy. Not panicking at all. Oh. Oh dear. Hmm. I should get back to Moreau, but just let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'll keep you posted, Harold. And thanks. Okay. So that gave us a little bit more of the explanation as to what, what the reason for the uh, energy diminishing is. Excuse me. What's back here again? Oh, this is where Cyrus was. Hey, Cyrus. Um, hey, Harold. Hello, Cy. How's the start procedure going? So-so. I've got an awful lot to get through and no one to help me with it all. That's not true, Cy. Madam CEO asked us to keep an eye on... Uh, I mean, <laughs> help you. Mm, Harold, you let it slip. Come on. And I. Just that, you know, she was concerned about you, I guess. Hmm. Huh. Wow. She must really trust me. Mm -hmm. not like well, you're the number one dad, of course. Experts in molecular sciences. So, what is your procedure idea exactly? So, there are a couple of stages to it. The first stage is all about our current stasis. As we all know, the ship's weight and the fact certain sections are full of water gives us a stable buoyancy. And because of the tide, we're on a very slow and long orbit. Interesting. So, we start by pumping oh, some cool. water out through the ship's thrusters, accelerating our orbital trajectory. Then comes okay. phase two. Once we reach a certain velocity, we pump more water into the unused core, making us sink deeper toward the gravity well, which will tighten our orbit, but keep the speed, thus building greater momentum. Yeah, okay. like those ice skaters when they crouch down in a pirouette. Oh, Beautiful. those videos are great. When you get slippy to let you borrow them, anyway. Ooh, is that where you got the idea from? Um... No, my idea came from much less frivolous scientific principles. Mm, but yeah, they are good vids. As I was saying, once we reach max possible speed, here's where it gets fun, we pump out all the water. <laughs> but not all water, that would be mean. At the same time, and use the sudden extra buoyancy to break oh, not all water, orbit, that's what it means. <laughs> upwards trajectory towards the planet's surface. Oh, a bit like an ancient cephalopod. It, well, uh, yeah. Cephalopod? Uh, exactly. Cephalopod? It, how on Fedora did you know about that? Oh, I found a book lying around in the lab called Masterminds of the Deep. Interesting. I kind of hoped it was going to be an adventure novel. Ah, interesting. <laughs> but it was a scientific but, anyway, novel. Here's where it gets tricky. As the Fedora is still going to be denser than the surrounding water, our velocity will slow down the closer we get to the surface. But if we time everything right, our initial slingshot should create just enough momentum to allow us to break free the ocean surface for about a minute. Like a flying fish. It'll be so weird to see the sky. Focus, Harold. This mm. is the most crucial part. We must launch the thrusters at exactly the right moment if we wish to achieve escape velocity. Too early, they'll be waterlogged. Too late, and we'll crash right back into the sea. Wow. Uh. Sigh. That's an amazing plan. Think it'll work? Well, in theory, absolutely. Seems like the but physics are gonna have to be, like, really precise, though. Off. Now, I've checked everything, but I can't pin down the variable. Like, mm. the timing? Um, kind of. Now, if I didn't know better, I'd say time itself 
Okay. Time hey, itself? What did Maro say about what Madame Is it something about, like, the moon CEO phases said. or something? Oh, she said she trusted you and that there was no need. Did she now? Uh, yeah? Hmm, huh. Knowing her, she did it just to spite the CEO. Anyway, you seen Sunny recently? Um, no. Not for a long time, actually. Sunny. Since you two That's went the second to your time he's mentioned ways? it. Mm-hmm. She said she needed to find herself. Well, mm. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually. Was Were Sunny like the love interest? All right between you? Yeah, it was, you know, we're... We're two different people. Sunny alone is at least two different people. But I'm glad it wasn't anything too dramatic. Anyway, back to work for me. Yeah. Looks like you've got it cut out for you. Good luck, Sai. All right, bye. Well, we got a little bit more information about Harold and about the quote-unquote escape plan, which Harold has drawn for us. I got a message from Moreau. Harold, the filler station seems to be clogged again. Please unclog it properly. Okay, filter station cleanup. Um, so that's what I have to do there. John Slippy Jr. Oh, that's just the spam message. Okay, so we got to do that. And then there are the... Uh, sorry, I keep clicking the wrong button. Toncular Petrix that are up in the other area too. And the 3D printer is just still <laughs> in shambles here. All right, bye Cyrus. See you later. Cyrus isn't too bad. Um, so from here, I say... Before we go back up to where Moreau is. All right, I will. One, two, three, four, five. Tastes like apples. Let's go up and see some of the other areas. Because I think once we get to Moreau. So what is this supposed to be? It says out of order. The social district tube route will be closed while we improve journey. Social district. I wonder if that's going to open at some point. We still advise not to eat a big lunch before traveling. All right, let's go to the central station. style. All, water. All right. I wonder if they get wet during this. I'm thinking too much about the logistics of it. Unsatisfactory um, journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that one before. Hey, this guy is sleeping here again. I saw him the last time. We haven't seen the little girl again, though. Um, can I talk to you? Hi. Hey, number eight. May I help you? Apparently not. I'm gonna go to the utility district if I can. In the, a water district. Oh wait, should I go back to the? Apologies, the utility district. Okay, that's under whatever. Um, let's go to the all water and see if we can find Coco. Also, wait, there's something curtained over there. When we come back here, <laughs> there's too many pathways for me to explore. I love. I have. Shh. I love um having a environment that you can like completely explore. But at the same time, I feel like I get overwhelmed sometimes with however many options I can do. Let's talk to this guy. Hi, Mr. Secretary Hello. 24. Hello, Mr. Halibut. Um, can you do anything for me? Have you seen a bird by chance? I haven't seen a bird. I want to see, too, if we can talk to, uh, what do they say, Madam Secretary? I don't think it's Madam Secretary. No, I can't go back in there. Um, and there's cameras everywhere. I've noticed that this this time around. All right, let's go. Where could a bird have gone to here, though? Realistically, because I don't think the birder could. The birder. No, 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 no. Harold, Harold. I keep getting so distracted. I don't think the bird uh, could survive any sort of like water transport. So it must have gone through whatever ventilation system they have here. You have arrived. Thank you very much. Please I'm gonna check this. In an orderly manner. We hope you Harold? travel with us again soon. Can I see this? No. Alright, I guess let's go see Moreau. I don't suppose anything would have been different in the uh, Agora arcades. So Lab District. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic I am gonna be disappointed day. if I can't find Coco, but at the same time, maybe it's just waiting. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. A lot of times you I get ahead of myself and I'm trying to search for things. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation. So I'll just wait and trust that I'll be able to find it at some today. point. Find the bird. The bird. The bird. Um, anybody in here? Mm-mm. Alright, let's just go see Moreau. <laughs> I'm like, I have to look at every floor all the time to see if anything has changed. And nothing ever does. Hey there. 
So, about the energy thing. Where's Moreau? Oh, she wanted me to clean the filtration system. Okay, so I did have to go down. I was wrong about this for once. I can't see that hallway, too, ever when I go around. I find that interesting. For no reason in particular. Alright, Harold. Anybody in the bathroom? No? I just have to check. Harold hasn't taken a shower in like four days. You feeling okay, Harold? <clears throat> also, this tentacle is so interesting to me. Because it's like, is it a tentacle or is it um, just a growth of some plant or something? Alright, clean the filtration system. Let's do it. That's red. Am I supposed to do something here? Oh wait, no. I think I'm just supposed to go here and then select it. Is that cleaning it? Cleaning, fixing, cleaning, fixing, running around and fetching stuff, cleaning stuff. It could be worse, but there must be more, more. To life? Cleaning, fixing, running all around. Wait. What's that sound? Isn't there more to life? I clean and I fix till my legs feel like bricks. My best friend is a mop, I work till I drop. And for what? No medals or treats. I don't get silk sheets, but oh, I'm the first guy they call for a leak. There must be more to life. I could Whoa. be an artist, my name would be fetid, or a chef whose every dish was celebrated but maybe this is my destiny trouble and strife and perhaps that's okay at the end of the day what more could there be to love oh wow where did that voice come from Harold that was beautiful. Very Rapunzel coded. Oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, hey, yeah, hey, Tommy. Did you hear sorry. that? You startled me. I'm a bit startled myself. What brings you to the filter station? Just, you know, I should probably be going. But you just Hi. got here. Anything I can help you with? I, I was just looking for filter Frankie, but I guess he's not around. Hmm. That guy can be slipperier than a jelly deal. Yeah, I've never even met him. Right oh, I'll be going now. See you, Harold. Filter okay. Frankie. Bye, Tommy. I didn't even realize the filter station. <laughs> this is probably where he meets Filter Frankie. Can I doing do anything here? I got a message from Bridget. Let's check it. Uh messages, Bridget. Our sample has been prepared and is ready for analysis. I've got a good feeling about this one. Okay. So the sample is ready, and then find Coco. I should keep an eye out for her. I still haven't found Coco at all. There hasn't been anything to do. Can I close this? Um, no? I just leave it? Alright. Let's go, I guess. So Bridget is next. That was, first of all, unexpected. I didn't expect him to go out in, in song like that, but also he has beautiful voice. I wonder if we're ever going to see him on the stage with the artist for the play. Um, it kind of makes my heart hurt, too, a little bit, because it makes me sad to think that Harold potentially has bigger dreams or a yearning for something more. And this is what he feels like his life is. And on top of that, he's trapped, quite literally, under the ocean on a foreign planet. So he hasn't even seen where he originally or his people originally came from. Um, it's a tragic tale. <laughs> All right, uh, energy district is where we need to go. Determined. So now let's go ahead and do that. With all water. Tommy, that was an interesting thing, though. It makes me wonder if we're going to ever see Filter You're Frankie. Thank you like, maybe the next time we have to clean? Close your eyes. Inspecting. 
This is taking too long. No contaminants detected. Yippee! Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay any longer than I have to. I think it's fine. Hey, Bridget! Did you miss me? I missed you. So what does the sample say? Are we all doomed? Hey, Bridget. Oh, hey, Harold. Done with the sample already? Hmm? I'm here for the sample. You silly goose. I messaged you saying I sent it to the sample shelf. Oh. So what? I missed it somehow. That is what the conveyor system is for. To save us from running all over the place. Oh, I just had to time. stay in the thing? I know. I guess I just... Did you really think I'd make you come all the way back here to pick it up? No. Yeah? I, mean, I probably... It'd be madness. He just sang a whole song about that was what he was doing. His job. Just get anything done. Yeah. <clears throat> My bad. I'll go get it from the shop. Well, you don't have to make me feel Although, more bad about it. You're here. Thanks, Bridget. Sorry to bother you. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Completed sample is ready. All right. I, she didn't say that in the thing, right? Can I talk to Cyrus again? Hey, buddy. Hi, Cy. Oh, hey, Harry. Oh, Harry. I guess his name is Harold. <laughs> it didn't occur to me. Okay, what is your idea to start the procedure again? Could you tell again? me about your idea for the star procedure again? Is this just going to be the same thing, sure. though? But pay attention this time. So there are a couple stages to it. The first is it stage just gonna be the is same? all about our current stasis. Okay, so, wait, I think this is the same. Um, is there a more understandable way to describe it? Oh, that? hey! Yes. We didn't Basically, get this Basically, we're going to be like a cork in the water. Further it oh. goes down, faster it flies back up. Oh, bro, you could have just said that much. All right, bye. I'm not going to listen to your explanation again. Bye now. <laughs> See you, Sai. All right, sometimes you can talk to people and get, like more information from them which is why if we're already on the floor contamination expansion which is why when we're here i'm like all right i might as well talk to him but we don't need to see all of that again let's go back to the lab Location district nominated. journey, journey commencing. commencing all water Thank i would go and see if i could find coco on some of the other floors but i'm Thank hoping that with all water. it's going to be a little bit more obvious cuz i don't want to just spend time wasted going around when I don't have to. Send the sample to the shelf in the lab. I can go ahead and start analyzing it. What mysteries will the, of the universe will it unveil? Let's find out. I'm excited. I wonder if there's going to be anything in a, one of the windows one time. Kind of like the fish that we had seen that said, we're all free out here. Okay, I remember how to do this. We click this button. And which sample is it? It's the one down at the bottom, right? Four. Yeah, that one. Harold? <laughs> Look at Harold. I love Harold. He's such a cutie pie. He's got a cute personality. <clears throat> right on. Let's take a look what all the fuss is about. So there's three mm. different solar lines, right? Oh, yes. I see. Harold, do Very not big see. marks. <laughs> a dense rockiness. Troubling uh, strata. Implications huge for origin of it. Possible comet fragment. Judging by the composition, could have been from far away. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is. Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is. We've been thinking all along about. This data suggests. Hmm. But. Huh, that would contradict. Hmm. The potential implications. What, what is it, Professor? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh. What have they told you? The rock strata looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare? But the aminos, back dating. It's a countdown. Great. For what? A countdown? A window. The sample finally reveals a pattern. And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar wind storms. We're approaching that window fast. Oh. And if we miss it? We wait for 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. 
So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. Oh no. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll okay, make it? Okay, that's not horrible. Hmm. A couple not months. We find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. I need to double check some of this data urgently. Oh, oh dear. Okay, Professor, I'll leave you be. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, potentially in the next couple months, we could be leaving the ship between Cyrus and Professor? That's really interesting. And then, what is it? Tube Hopper? Um, we got a message. Um, and then the message from Earth. So, is the plan to go back to Earth? There's the time there. Ooh, time is of the essence and whatever. Yo, Harry, it's Felix. I got some big info. It's sensitive. You're kind of cool. So if you want to know more, meet me at the Agora Arcades tonight. I'll tell... If you tell anyone, I'll set your fish free in the ocean. <gasps> to Felix. No. What if I tell someone? <laughs> Where are Harold's fish specifically? Are they the ones up top? Can I do anything here? No. Okay, so Agora Arcades at nighttime. I don't think it's nighttime yet, and we can't talk to her again, so let's leave. The only other thing we uh, have to do is see Coco, right? Felix! Wait! Filter Felix. Is that Filter Felix? No, Filter Frankie. Listen, I remember the F name. Alright, let's go to the arcades. We've already been there once today, but it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Water. Moving people every day. And water! Moving people and water. We know you enjoy traveling with Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, there's this kid. You're welcome. Oh, Felix hey, is Felix. this kid. I'm here. What's with the secret? Shh. Wait. I can't tell you anything with all these people around. Uh, there's okay. like nobody. We have to wait until everyone leaves? Yes, that's the deal. Okay. okay. Well, I wish I'd known. I would have brought a book or something. <laughs> what are you reading? Oh, just the latest in the Fedora 4 series. Is that the beast from below? Oh no, it's Persephone's Lament. Oh, Persephone's I Lament. the beast from below was the latest one. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh look, is that Cherry Bafflesop? Who's that? Come on, you don't know Cherry Bafflesop? Oh my god, the, the gossip. The from the Chronicle? I'm a kid, I don't read newspapers. <laughs> well, the cartoons, obviously. And I quite like the Agony On column, actually. I think that might be Cherry, too. Oh. So, do you ever think it's strange? All these people, all their own homes, lives, thoughts? Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well, I mean, they can see us. Yes, but that's not always the same thing, is it? Oh. I suppose not. So, how's school? Why? Did Mr. Tenenbaum ask you to spy on me? No, bro, Chris? you asked me to- no. <laughs> Come here. I was only wondering. School, school. I try to concentrate, but it just seems pointless. I mean, what do you need to learn to do what my dad does? And I'm sure they're not teaching us about what my mom does. But you need to mm. just learn in general. You can't just know what you need to learn yet. Huh. I just feel like I learn more by exploring myself. Well, can't you do both? Yeah. You can always explore, but you can't always get someone like Chris. I mean, Mr. Tinnebaum, spending all day helping you learn. Uh, That's true, too. I suppose it would be cool to know everything. <laughs> and with time, that might happen. The old water tubes or are we going to be sure stuck be here? Okay, it's night. time. Please I hope it's worth the, the wait. Okay, what are we doing? Is. Coast is clear. Follow me. Where? To the wieners? What? <gasps> This, my friend, is the Tunnel of Secrets. I'm so excited. <laughs> it looks like a ventilation shaft. A small, dark one. Sure, that's Hope you're not claustrophobic. Come on. Oh, I'm so excited. Is he part of the, the, the fire lights? Is that the name of them? Start with an F, I think. Hmm. I like this. <gasps> the bird! Maybe Coco's in here. It's pretty cozy in here. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> so you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise. Okay. I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? 
She just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, I don't know that okay. we have any secrets. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to. What happened? Wow, well, you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Wait, what? I didn't even hear it. There was just like a pulse or something. Okay. Hey, is that a little rat? Felix, oh, cute. Come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. Well, okay, whatever you say. This headlamp doesn't do much, does it? At least he's waiting for me. So, how well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away or, yeah, I need quiet space, there's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't Felix's try. laugh is charming. They can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine. Just so busy. Always. And they let me get away with a lot. Am you I gonna fall through this? getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I tell <laughs> the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. I was wondering what so did happen to Harold's family. Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now, don't worry. Okay. That's one of the things I was worried about. Also, Harold's voice actor reminds me a lot of the voice actor from um, Oxenfree Lost Signals. I don't know if it's the same one. I'm kind of curious to look it up now. But he has a very calming voice. It's very nice. I like the vo voice acting in this so far. Um, it just adds so much to it. All right, Felix, I'm going as fast as my old bones will take me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad for poor Harold. Didn't have much cake. <clears throat> Whoa, what is this? Oh. I know, right? <laughs> I've never looked at it this way before. We only had the same stuff to look at, mostly. Gotta try find new angles. Huh. Did you read that somewhere? No, I don't think so anyway. Here. Uh, not for me, thanks. And not for you. Relax, it's just gum. Smoking is a dumb adult thing anyway. Oh, okay. I'll take one. Thanks. Thanks, Felix. They call him the Scout. A man who dared to go where others wouldn't or couldn't. He wasn't one for the limelight, but he was good at his job. He mapped out new lands. The light keepers made him an offer. Work for us, they said. Light keepers. A lesser man would have taken the money. But the scout works best alone. He can't He's be He's interacted with the light keepers? Only the scout sees things for what they really are. Looks to the watery horizon while everyone else stares at their shoes. If only they understood. The scout is a legend. We've been trying to track him down for years. If anyone can find him, it's you, Agent Harrelson. <laughs> so, uh... what do you think is going to happen now that Earth is okay? I don't Everyone know. Everyone wants to go back, but... Yeah, it'll take a while, right? Too long. Let's move on. You might be able to see it though, Felix. Hopefully. Maybe, if we make it in the window. 81 years is a long time. I was wondering if anything was going to show up when we um, moved. Notebook, the Scout, and Agent Harold. Aww, <laughs> fun. Sorry, I had to draw something in my notebook. Thanks for inviting me, Felix. Oh, I'm gonna drop, aren't I? Watch out, tread carefully. No. Oh. <gasps> no, Harold! Are you okay? Oh, I think so. But everything is going cold. 
Ah, you probably land in a condensation puddle. Where am I? How do I get out of here, Felix? I I'm not oh, sure, no. but good luck and we'll meet up later. I don't Felix. let anyone see you. We can't blow our cover. Okay, Damn Felix. It. <laughs> you take care now. Ha, says the man who dived into a shallow puddle. See ya! <laughs> Felix, I thought we just had a nice moment. We have to get out of the shaft. And then he's just like, see ya, loser! Wouldn't want to be ya! Alright. Oh, but we're above the CEO. Oh, can we hear? Yes, yes. 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire. Please do sit down and come in. Ah, uh, Madam CEO, have I got news for you? I should certainly hope so. Time is money, and I can't spend time on empty chatter. With so perilous a palpable public perception problem. Well, now you've had a chance to test my new the alliteration. air con system. <laughs> have you given my start procedure idea any more thought? Start Surely you procedure? don't want to rely entirely on Cyrus. Yes, about that. I can still hear those blasted mice in the vents. <laughs> it's so just it me, can't be that Harold. Cold and therefore not that efficient. If the system can't scare some mice, how's it going to form the basis of a relaunch? Hmm. I don't want to presume, but did you turn it up to max? Yes. Up to ten. Ah, I thought so. You see, this one goes to eleven. I think he's BSing. Well, why wouldn't you just make ten? <sighs> Whatever. Will you do the honors? Of course. You just gotta click the dial past the little bit of resistance. Like so. You no, Harold's up there, in, though. And those mice will be micicles. Good. Perhaps you should work on a prototype. We're going to treat people to a little public demonstration in ten days. Get the public buy-in, perhaps even a vote. Hmm, it seems like there's hope for your aircon yet. Those mice are feeling the chill. Yes! No! I think, I mean, I'd love another day or two to tweak the cooling coefficient. No extra days. This has already gone on long enough. We need to be seen to act. You know me, I'm all about moving fast. But not too fast. We can't cut corners on this. The stakes are too high. I'll keep it on the straight and So is he working with but Cyrus? Can, They're just working on leading? Speed it up. Say no more, Madam CEO. Just wait until that demonstration. You'll see. All right, bye, Slippy. Are we going to fall through here? Now about those all-water co-branded mittens we discussed. I can't stay in here any longer. I'll, I'll become a herald sickle. A herald sickle? Oh, okay. It just moves for us. Interesting, though. Well, I guess it wasn't the worst thing in the world. We got to eavesdrop. Hi! Oh. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Thank God he's wearing underwear. I guess the aircon really is efficient around here. Oh no! Harold, I'm sorry you got sick. Time for bed. Anyways, uh, hey Chris. <laughs> Chris still hasn't noticed us. Chris, can I, uh, get in the shower with you? <laughs> How's it going? Task, go to bed? No, there's so much I want to see. It involves Chris. Uh, to do, go to bed, burr, maybe I kind of cold in those shafts. Warm bed will make it better, and tomorrow I'll figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, I keep clicking the thing button when I want to do the Y button. Before we go to bed though, I'm gonna do my rounds and see what's down here. Very interesting. So here's what we got today, right? Slippy is doing a demonstration at some point. It seems like he might be working with Cyrus and they're just planning on leaving and going to Earth. The other thing was that the little tidbit we got about um, Earth's message apparently didn't go out to the entire ship other than just the leak. Because there were people who were still like, I wonder what the message says, including Harold, which confused me. All right, everything looks good. Let's go to bed then, Harold. We'll deal with whatever we have to deal with tomorrow, I guess. Oh, and it's already nighttime. I guess we weren't able to use the tube systems, right? Because it... <laughs> we went through the ventilation. Hey! Goodness, Harold. Where have you been? Definitely not in the vents. Sorry. Excuse me. Come on. Let's get some tea in you. Thanks, Professor. That does sound nice. Okay. <gasps> we get to see her room! Oh, I guess this isn't a kitchen. It's the lab, right? Oh, I love it! Oh, it's so cozy. So, 
Where have you been? And don't say you got stuck in the filter pipes again. Uh, well, no, something different. Well, there was a puddle, but... It's okay. You're here now. That's the important thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Do have some tea. It makes everything better. Ah, uh, yes, I think I will. Ah, uh, warm. You need to remember to look after yourself. A stitch in time saves nine. I do. I just... This was, um, extraneous circumstances. Extenuating circumstances? What exactly have you been up to? Well, it's hard to explain, but I was with Felix. He showed me the vents. They were nice. But then I fell through a grate next to the CEO's office. From what I could overhear, I think something pretty serious is going on between Slippy and Mrs. Castlechop. Slippy? Mrs. Castlechop? I hardly think he's her type. Oh, no, not, no, no, not, <laughs> not, 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 not like that. Romantically. That's not what I overheard. <laughs> Slippy was working on his own relaunch procedure. What? That would be most vexing. Why would Castle Chop what I have heard told too. us about this? I don't know. Maybe Slippy himself wants to keep it secret for some reason. Or well, playing them against each other, seeing who solve the problem. But has it could the best be disastrous procedure. If he convinced the CEO that he could. I wonder whether those light keepers are aware of this. It seems probable. What I can't deduce yet is what their agenda is. Yeah. Things have been crazy, though, with them, all the all-water news, the rock, now this. Yes, very irregular, not at all fitting with the usual models. Perhaps mm. it's all connected somehow. Oh, well, it has to be. Could be. It's a story. Did Slippy or the CEO say anything about what the procedure would be? Not really. All it had something to do with the cooling system, though. Slippy's patented aircon system. Intriguing. Well, if this baffling pattern keeps up, I'm Is sure gonna, we'll like, try and freeze the water or something. Soon. I'll keep my ears to the ground. Yes, you do that. Just watch out for puddles. Huh. I'll do my best. Well, they're sweet. Let's sleep on it. You look like you could use some. Sounds good, Professor. Achoo! Good night. Mm -hmm. Night, Harold. And don't catch a cold, please. I'll try not to. Night. I wonder whose picture that is on her wall. I love her room, it's so cozy. Notebook tea with Moreau. I'll look at that when we go down. <laughs> Task, time to sleep. Alright, let's look at this. Uh, <laughs> he's got a drippy little nose. All right, time to sleep. Uh, my head is swimming, feels fuzzy. Hopefully I can sleep it off. I hope so too. I've taken a liking to Harold. I'm rooting for him. I hope that he is okay through all of this. I wonder if it's hard to sleep without the sun. If the lights turn off wow, every day and night cycle. That was not how I imagined today to go. Hopefully tomorrow will be nice and normal again. No surprises, no excitement, just good old good routine. Old routine. Uh, that darn air con. Hachu! Uh, I better not wake up with a cold. <laughs> what are we going to do tomorrow if he is sick? I wonder. Day 18,253 AC, 89 days left until the launch window closes. <gasps> it's even more ominous now. Wait, and there's alarm? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I hate to leave it on a cliffhanger, <laughs> but we're going to have to wait until next episode to see what the alarm was. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is, I feel bad. Um, but that was the last day. I liked a lot of the little moments we got here. We got to see a lot more of Harold and his personality his dreams for maybe what he wants his life to be and seeing Felix and the professor. I'm really enjoying this. It's very sweet so far. I hope you guys are too. If you are, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Harold Halibut. Bye-bye.